don't mind me just finishing my hair. So, hey guys, so obviously I have a new haircut and it's, um, different. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know. So, like, these are obviously my bangs, which were way shorter than I wanted them to. I wanted them to go down here. That would have looked way better, and you all know it, but I guess what are you going to do? So, probably what I'm going to do is wear these back a lot till they grow out to a point so they're, like, so it doesn't look stupid. But the way I keep them to the side, if you're wondering is you take your flat iron and you just take your bangs and instead of doing them this way or like oh my gosh instead of like doing them like this which will put them in front you have to like take them and just do it off to the side which will put them off to the side so yeah those that's my new hair guys So we all know that it is going to be a brand new school year. My brand new school year happens to start on Tuesday. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you some things. First of all, things that I recommend makeup wise. What I'm going to recommend is just a few products that I think that even if you don't wear makeup a lot that you can use because they are really helpful. There's an eyeshadow, a face product, um, one other like eye product thing, and then one other thing. So these are things that I think could help you because this is a brand new year. Be a brand new you, okay? That's going to be my thing. You're going to be a brand new you. So, um, to, if you don't ever really wear eyeshadows that much, and it's just a big hassle, you don't have the brushes or anything, I have brushes, obviously, I have like a whole bag full of brushes, but soon I'm going to be doing a product review, and this is going to be in the product review, and I think, um, if you're new to, like, the makeup world and you're not really sure how stuff works, you could um, just buy one of these things. Logan and I both have one. We have the same color and she has bad the bronze, which I am going to get. And I'm also going to get, I'll tell you a second. Okay, so these are the color tattoos. And for beginners, I suggest white. Like, white works for everything. Seriously, it does. It's just amazing. And then I'm going to be getting the um, pigment, which are the little powders. And they also, they're also color tattoo pigments, though. And then there's also color tattoo metallic, and I'm going to be getting silver and gold in that. And they're $5.94 at Walmart. They don't sell the pigments or the metallics at Dollar General where I bought this one. And I'm telling you, if you're going to go out and buy a color tattoo, go to Dollar General to get the original ones because they're only $3 instead of $5.94. Second thing I think if you're a beginner um, and you don't want to wear eyeshadow, I would suggest wearing concealer. Concealer, if you use it on your eyelids, like if you wake up and you just swipe underneath one on here, one on top of the eyelid and rub it in, it makes you like look awake and stuff. Third thing is mascara. Mascara just gives you some type of, it just makes your eyelashes so big and so pretty and even if you don't wear makeup, making your eyelashes look big and pretty is always a plus. And finally, which is going to be like a lifesaver this year, I have the e.l.f. Zit Zapper. Where is the label? Zit Zapper. This stuff is really, really good. This pimple is just really, really big. That's why it hasn't gone away yet. Um, but using this is going to be a lifesaver this year. Big lots. Two dollars. Like three, two or three dollars. And you get a concealer and a brush with it. I happen to get two because the box line wrong. But, ooh, what else? Going with my statement about being a new you, this year I decided to go crazy with fashion. Um, the only name brands I happened to get were Hollister and I think maybe a few Arrow things, but I'm not quite sure. But the new year consists of like vintage clothing and things I wouldn't normally wear 
non-name brands and stuff that I just feel I have to be weird and crazy this year. It's what's up with the new hairstyle and that's going to reflect in my clothing this year. So this year, try to make a change. Be different. Be someone that you've never been before. Like, every year you change, and you've obviously been someone new every year. Like, when I was in eight, seventh grade, I was obsessed with polka dots, and that was me for, like, the entire year. But, I mean, there's some things you can never change. Like, I will always love Spongebob for as long as I live, but... I've just become a new makeup fanatic, and yeah. that is yeah. part of me now. That probably won't change anymore. Like, but part of being a new you is being different, like getting different, having a different clothes style or a new hairstyle that no one's ever seen you or would expect you to get, and just being different, forgetting any bad thing that has happened in like last year this is a new school year be a new you do things differently okay just don't let them get you down and just go for it like nothing's going to it can't hurt to change okay and that's that's um that's pretty much the goal is to be a different me this year so Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, this is new hair, new clothes, new stuff, new you. Make a difference this year. Bye.